Yeah, go ahead, man. Uh, Captain, uh, I hear you're retiring. I am. <laughs> so, it's actually uh, called transitioning. Transitioning to what? Hopefully another job. That's always a good thing. Uh, private sector? Uh, private sector right now is in play. Right. Nothing definitive yet. Around here? Uh, building 409? Probably I mean, not. Oh, in Southern Maryland. Southern Maryland. Uh, I hope so. I mean, we'll see what, what opportunities uh, present themselves. You know, living in in Leonardtown since uh, 1996, and uh, and I and I do like to point out the fact that I've been stationed here 18 out of the last 21 years. So uh, so this place has kind of grown on me a little bit. It it's still a great place to be stationed. Um, we do have a if you if you look at our demographic, certainly a um, highly technical trained workforce, and uh, to include the military, we tend to be more senior. So the so attracting young folks here to Pax River in the rates where we need them, air traffic controllers, uh, master at arms, uh, supply, uh, even our religious programmers. I mean, we need those we need those rates here at Pax River. Uh, I have a sense that folks are scared or uh, from the part of the demographic, and to a certain degree, it's becoming less and less over time as we now become. Uh, seemingly a bedroom community, really, of, of Washington, D.C., that we're so far away from everything. So I, w I would encourage, uh, you know, the sailors that have presented a Pax River as an option, really look at it seriously, whether they're right out of A school or they're a mid-level uh, mid sailor or or even a senior sailor. So, you know, don't be afraid of, of Pax River and what we do here. It's come here and learn, uh, embrace what we have here, <coughs> because this is where naval aviation begins. And as I, as I tell all of our... Uh, our new arrivals, uh, young and old, is that uh, what you see here, if you do go back to the fleet, you're going to see that weapon system, whether it be a fixed-wing aircraft, F-35, Growler, uh, E-2D, you would have seen it here first. And, and and it doesn't matter if you're a religious programmer, or air traffic controller, or master at arms, and you may not have been turning a wrench on that particular aircraft. You were here when that system was in development. You can go, when you go back to the fleet. You can say yeah, you saw it here at Pax River first, and that that's something that uh, one should be proud of. And uh, those are the things you can learn, learn about, learn, learn more about your Navy. And uh, once you're connected to the mission, uh, you're going to get energized by it. You're going to be like, wow, this is this is more than me just checking IDs at. Gate one, gate two, or gate three. This is more than me helping out the chaplains over at the religious program center, and right on down the line, you've got a connection to the mission and a correct connection to the larger navy.